Hello YouTube and welcome to another Doctor Who video and today I am reviewing the Master with his TC Tissue Compressor Eliminator and Axon the creature not the humanoid and here's my little display I've got there 70 TARDIS yeah, a few others you can see see ya I'll just read you a quick blurb from the Claws of Axos DVD. There, and there's a picture of the Axon creature, and there's a humanoid Axon creature. I'll just read this uh, background. The mysterious object approaches, uh, approaches Earth, alerting the Doctor and unit that face another possible threat from outer space. Are the gold skinned? skinned aliens who claim to bring gifts to humanity as a peaceful and benevolent as the first appear appear and why is the doctor arch enemy the master on board the spaceship so that's basically uh the blurb from the claws of axos itself uh hopefully at the end of the video there will be some pictures so uh yeah this is my first review in high definition which is quite weird uh, so I'll just run through the articulation of the mass master. His head, uh, you know what? I might as well just do it like that. So leave him standing up. His head does a 360. Arms do a 360. Then his arms bend at the elbow. And hands do a 360. Waist do a 360. But you must be careful of the. Um, side of his torso because it may sort of rip if you can see it there legs go out uh, thighs do a 360 bend at the knees and no boot articulation so I'll run through the detail so this has a very good likeness to Roger Delgado you can see it's rather good rather, it's really nice you can tell it's Roger Delgado because you've got the nice little goatee beard, sort of goatee, you got these nice like streaks of white if you can get it in, there you go, like these little white strips, and then on his actual face you've got these nice lines to show his um, expression, and over his head you have this sort of um, uh, grey wash over it, you can see it's quite nice, I mean a grey wash to show it is quite old but there are still some black bits over it got a line going down in the costume the seam but I find it quite nice on the arm the arm's the best bit for me really and the face obviously is because it's got these nice little rings and ring anyway, can you just get it there yeah. this nice little button there a white shirt on the gloves you've got these nice lines there which are very nicely sculpted. We've got these pockets here. Uh, creases on the trousers and the boots there. And the master comes with a little accessory, the TCE, which is that. Silver and black. But you hold it up like this, what first appeared in Terror of the Autons. Yeah, that's the accessory. So now we move on to the main reason why people got this set. The Axon. And the latest sort of set, I suppose, is the Seed of Doom. Well, uh, it's a repaint of this or a retool. Yeah, so the Axon's articulation uh, the head does a 360, ball jointed um, arms, no elbow, hand, they, yeah, and they go up and down, and the hands are a 360. Waist to a 360, but maybe stiff when you get it. And the, also the legs are ball jointed as well. Like the, uh, oh, I'm trying to think, can't think of one off the top of my head. No knee, but foot articulation. That's quite good articulation for uh, uh, a 2010 figure. Yeah, it was 2010 when this came out. So now I'll run through the detail. By the way, the master is uh, a well earned 10 out of 10. Just stand him up again. There we go. 
Yeah, so the detail of the axon, we'll go on to the face. You can see there are sort of remains of a human. Or oh, this is sort of, well, we all know this is a repaint of the crinoid, but with tweaks because this was before the crinoid because wave two was announced and the crinoid was going to be the collect and build figure, much like the K1 robot from wave one. But they repainted it and yeah. And some of his body parts do come off, which I'll show you in a minute once I've done the detail. So you've got this nice detail, like this uh, black wash over some certain areas. You can see there. You know, it's like the formed nose and the mouth, which sort of reminds of the hemovores. Yeah. And I'll just, the side of the head, uh, you've got these nice, I uh, don't know what to call them. Uh, things there, which are really nice, uh, really good. No, like, he's like lists of things on his face, and like it's really good detail. It's like really big, so you can get like more detail. Some people turn the axon's head um, that way because it looks more like an axon, but I, I prefer it like the other way, I suppose. And you've got like this. Like some areas are darker oranges, some are lighter, some are purple. As you can see, what a nice that is, really nice. Got these big old things sculpted, like they're going down. It sort of reminds me of uh, uh, ginger, you know, like raw ginger. There, yeah, you've got these nice, like, tentacles and like lumps and bumps and everything. Yeah. To show that it's like, I don't know, it's hard to explain really. And you've got these like sort of camel feet in a sense, so like camel feet. And then the art, oh, the hand looks quite interesting because they're like uh, nice little, they're quite good, they're quite bendy, but they don't stay in that position, they sort of go back to the position they were before, as you can see. Because the actual axe on itself looked a bit like that. You see there. That's what the actual axon looked like. That. There's another one there. And of course, there's one there. Because they were just giant rubbery big old suits really, weren't they? And the axon, yeah, it's just a bit hard to explain. Yeah, you've just got these nice details there. You can see it is really good detail. Absolutely really good. Fantastic detail. As you can see. Now I did promise you this to show this is a collect and build figure. Um but the I just put the camera down uh, just to do this a bit better. The head actually does come off. So as you can see in some I think it was Dalek, I Dalek idea had a Tom Baker head because Tom Baker was sort of disguised as an axon, and here's the actual axon head, which is rather good. The practically nearly everything come off comes off by the. Uh, oh, I just put the camera back down there, so I can put the head back on. Yeah, and that just pops back on, but if you do it too many times, the head does become a bit loose. Uh, the arms come off, the feet, but there are this weird sort of substance. It's a bit hard to ex explain, but it is like slimy, slimy. It's like cooking oil, but yeah, it's probably not cooking oil. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really good set for 25 quid. I don't know if it's still 25 quid, but it's really good. I think this is the third or second story of um, series eight or season eight. Yeah, because you you get your master, you get another iconic monster from the third Doctor era, which sort of gets more third Doctor monsters, the Auton, the Doctor. It sort of brings more to the table in the sense that it is another monster what we haven't seen. 
but of course we are talking now two years on and it is still an absolute fantastic figure and I've had many enjoyments playing with it and hopefully I can think of more Axon ideas so yeah hopefully uh, the Doctor Who um, DVD part 3 which should be up soon I haven't exactly filmed that yet um, so there we have I'm thinking about doing a, a quadruple review which is um, all of our robots so uh, SV7 the glowing red IVOC uh, the fourth Doctor normal VOC and I like to call him T84 as you can see I put Lila there just to add a bit more interesting stuff to it so yeah so hopefully that should be a good review but I don't know how to do it singularly but i rather do it joint because you know there's not much really you could say more about them because it would just be quite continually and yeah I'm planning to do a monster fact file as I said in my video test so hopefully the axon will be up in that, the Daleks, possibly the Winders and the Smilers, and of course the Autons and the Master. Yeah, thank you for watching this review and I hope to see you in my next video. So, goodbye.